What's going on guys? It's your boy here, Biohazard GG, and today I am back. Super hyped to do this video. It is going to be a don't starve video. Gotta be an amazing game, one of my favourite. I know I say that about a lot, but this really is one of my favourite games. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the only glitch you will need as far as harvesting 90% of resources in the game goes. And it can also be used as a mob farm. The first thing you're going to want for this is to have a ton of meat, morsels, anything you can use to tame pigs. A pig farm like this, I will uh, show you guys a tour of it in the next video. An ice fling o -matic to make sure uh, your pigs are locked in here and the ice fling o -matic is on. Clear all distractions from them so that they won't escape. Make sure to close that wood wooden gate. And today we're going to get onto it. The only things you will need are pine cones, a torch, an axe, and some pigs and something to tame them. Not to mention the ice fling matic They are really simple to build. If you guys do just want to test this out and make sure you can do it right, just create a thing with a very short starting winter. Grab yourself a pickaxe and start mining ice cubes. They will last for ages. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm not sure how to do this on PC, but I know that on console you're going to want to press the right trigger and then start spamming down on d-pad on said pine cone this is to do the pine cone planting glitch now you are going to have to spam it relatively well the faster you spam it the quicker you can get them them done in but the more you do the better then you're going to want to put them all down like that make sure your ice fling matic is turned on and really simply just light it now, as you can see, everything on there was set on fire. We're then going to press save and exit. Reload into our world. And hopefully, if I have done all of this correct, there we have it, guys. All of those evergreen saplings are now there. Let me just turn off the music really fast. There we go. Uh, now we can head out of here. Uh, probably best idea to wait the time quickly, I'm going to be using, let's see, I'm going to be using charcoal to wait the time with mandrakes, just to craft yourselves, oh, never mind, sorry guys, oh, <laughs> the ice fling matic was still on, make sure to turn the ice fling matic off or it will put out your fire, especially if you don't have a fire pit, and it's just a normal fire you keep going, that is the last thing you want, is your fire going out quickly like that. Now, craft all of these mandrakes, sorry. Cook all of these mandrakes, then start munching on them. Uh, as you can see, my farm in the top left has also activated. And hopefully, uh, with a bit of luck, the trees would grow. Now, of course, things in the icebox now are starting to go off. However, they're still just as edible. We're just going to harvest my monster jerky rack and then basically what you guys are going to want to do if you didn't know this you could actually befriend the pigs hence why a pig farm is so useful so what you're going to want to do is befriend all of the pigs and then use them to chop down the trees it's really simple way easier than it sounds but i'm going to be trying now to use my applied uh horticulture book on these trees maybe, maybe not Seems, what if I just stand near the trees, will it grow them that all time? It seems it does not want to grow them like that. Oh well, my point being, all you're going to want to do then is befriend all of these pigs with any food that you have. Uh, it is actually super simple to do. You can just spam the left on the d-pad, go by them, and then they will become your friends. You can also give them monster jerky, which is actually a really effective way of making them your friends uh again you give them things like this and then all you're going to want to do simply is just smack the tree once obviously i can't do it here but just hit the tree and then all of your little follower friends will start smashing and smashing the tree there are other ways to do this for example using a weather pane will get you so much wood it is insane as you can see right there they've all started to grow and i think they are uh possibly 
shoppable. If you guys see, I'm not sure if applied horticulture only works on actual books. It seems it does. And then I can grow them like this. Now I have tons of massive evergreens. I head away. I just need to wait for the last of these to start growing. And then the full potential of this book will be shown to you. Just making sure all of the friends, all of me pigs are befriended. As you can see, now they all are. Uh, you're going to want to try to get to a spot. This is really annoying just for a second, just before all of the evergreen saplings uh, have grown. Once they have all grown, of course, I will be able to start chopping down this tree. There's a few more of them that need to grow. Gives me time to befriend this pig. Hopefully that is all of them. Uh, almost, guys. I'm sorry for the wait, but we're just going to have to wait a second. Going to eat some jerky to bring my sanity up a little bit. And then, soon, I should be able to... Possibly. We're just going to wait like a little bit longer. Just wait for the last of them to grow. Obviously, this is really simple. Click off now if you do want to. I don't really mind. But please remember to like and subscribe. This is the bit where I plead for your support. Please remember to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel an absolute ton. Way more than you guys think. It means that I can continue doing what I'm doing. I know that I'm doing the right thing. Uh, I know YouTube removed the dislike button. I know it's a bit weird. But if you guys could like, dislike, subscribe. Just anything that shows that these people are actually watching it. That would be really appreciated. Um, yeah, so just... We're just going to keep waiting. Unfortunately, this is taking way longer than I expected. But we're just going to carry on doing it. The last ones will grow soon, I'm sure. There can't be that, more, that much more evergreen saplings now to grow. They're growing slowly but surely as of when they were set on fire. They will hopefully work soon enough. But it seems that they, they, they might take a few seconds. Unless, oh no, these guys have stopped becoming my friends because of what I fed them. And now I can start hitting that evergreen tree, as you see right there. They'll start... Uh, he says stay away, we're just going to feed him. And feed you. Now they are all of our friends, we're going to drag them all down to this corner. Hit this, start chopping down this evergreen tree. And then your labour force can start getting to work now of course right now they're only cutting down these small trees but once they start cutting down the big trees the amount of wood you get is insane so we're just going to sit here for a few minutes just waiting for them to start punching the tree you know really taking it down the only annoying part about this is a grabbing all of your pigs and is yeah so the only annoying parts of this are a grabbing all of your pigs and then B, you're going to have to craft shovels at the end to dig up all of your saplings. Otherwise, you can't do this again in the same place. And it gets annoying because you can't really move your ice fling matic The side benefits of this are the fact that your sanity will increase dramatically when you're near pigmen. I would think that it would work the other way, but apparently, no, your sanity actually increases when you're near pigmen. Uh, I'm going to try to push them all in so that they can all start laboring down trees and as you can see all of the big trees are gone completely that is the main amount of trees that i had all of these other trees are also gone and then once you're finished as a side note you can just hit a pig and they die you, you like you, you hit one pig and they die it is it is a really simple really simple way to take them out then you can just start Slapping pine cones, picking up all the logs. This will take you the, the most time consuming part about this will just be picking up the logs, if not making the ice flinger matic. Um, you could start an all out pig wall, which I think is really cool, just by miss hitting one of these, and then you just start hitting every single pig here. As you can see, they're actually in a fight now, killing each other for me. They're not even. Uh, friends or enemies with me right now, but they are still killing each other. We're going to wait for the winner of this one, or we can just make a winner of this one, like that. This guy is now occupied by something else, and that is a grand total of six meat and two, so that was using eight pigs. 
I've cut down nearly an entire forest's worth of trees. Uh, this does work obviously better as wicker bottom, but this is the only resource harvesting duplication glitch you will need as far as gaining anything from. Well, let's say as as far as as far as gaining, uh, as, as far as I can as far as gaining anything from wood to floorboards to planks, anything like this, those are useful for. Now, we do only have 23 pine cones, meaning we only chopped down a grand total of 23 trees with our labor force, and there are tons more non fully grown trees in there. But that is alright, because with the things we just did, I have currently got an insane, and I mean insane amount of uh, helpful followers now uh, that I can just sort of hire to use whenever I want. I've got this as a farm now and much, much more. This has been the best duplication glitch out there for anything wood related in Don't Starve. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day.